I grew up in Alabama, a um, small town. Went to church every every Sunday, every Wednesday. My parents um, brought me up in the church, so it was something I knew a lot about Jesus. And I get into high school. I'm, I'm playing sports. I'm uh, performing well on the field. I'm almost glorifying all these things that I'm doing. Uh, with being in a small town, you grow up, and in the papers you get uh, your name mentioned a lot, and you know you start to idolize a lot of these things. And uh, my senior year, I, I commit to go to, to play baseball at Auburn, and it's something that SEC school there, and I want to go, and I really enjoyed the coaches, and, and then the coaching staff breaks up, and, and they go different places, and you know, I'm mad at God, I'm angry, I'm, hey, everybody knew I was going there, why am I not being able to go there, and I ended up at Mississippi State, and um, my first two years there, I kind of fell away from going to church, I fell away from all these things, and I reflect back on my life, and uh, it came to a point where I started having to ask myself a question. Do I have a relationship with God or do I just know God? My philosophy on life was uh, how can I be the best athlete and how can I be the best, most well-known uh, person from my town? I guess the philosophy was, you know, I know Jesus died for me, but um, while I'm on this earth, my philosophy was just to do as much as I could by myself. And I, I found out that philosophy didn't work. And I found out that I needed Jesus Christ in my life. I found that uh, that philosophy led me nowhere but to being depressed when I didn't do well, uh, and when I did do well, um, being too happy that you know it was uh, almost a little arrogant feeling. So uh, the philosophy de definitely was was something that I needed to work on. I didn't know Jesus Christ like that, and I had to come to that that point of junior year in, uh, in college, just broken down at our uh, team chaplain's house and uh, of baseball. About 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, just went over there, just, just broken, like, hey, I, I need to know God, and uh, start doing some um, individual things with, with him, our team chaplain, Matt Jolly, and uh, we start meeting once a week uh, to do some discipleship stuff and uh, to grow and get in the Word and, and to become more knowledgeable about Jesus Christ and begin, begin to have a relationship with him. Uh, I think that's uh, the biggest part of my testimony there is I uh, grew up in the Bible Belt, I knew, who, I knew who Jesus Christ was, but I didn't have a relationship, and uh, to continue to walk with that, it, it's still tough some days uh, with being a professional athlete, and I still have to remind myself that uh, that's the most important thing in my life right now, and uh, everything else comes second. If somebody asked me about Jesus, I would tell them that they, He changed my life, and He can do the same uh, for you. It's something that until you have a walking relationship with the Lord, you don't understand. Uh, you know, you might have a blind eye to it, but once you really have a deep relationship with the Lord, you can tell that the way that you go about your daily activities, the way that um, you handle yourself around others, the way that um, you think even uh, can change your life and it can change it for the positive. And I think that I would tell somebody that, hey, if we want to change society today, if we want to change the world, we have to start having more relationship, more people in a relationship with the Lord. I'm Kendall Graveman and I play for him. Follow us at playforhim247.